All right, what up, y'all? This is my man, Elias Trejo. I don't know how many of you guys used to follow me from uh, from my Bleach Report days to now. For those that did follow me from way back then, thank you. And um, if you did, I'm pretty sure you know this man, Elias. Well, oh, I'm sorry, Elias Trejo. And let me let me let me pronounce that right. I gotta I gotta respect my Hispanic brothers, Elias Trejo. And um, anyway, back in the day, he was a very astute Bleach Report Raiders writer. I don't know what happened to him over the years. You know, I, he, something happened to his mind. I don't know what it was, what it is. But yeah, he, he has lost it, especially when it comes to Derek Carr, which is what we are going to talk about today. Can't wait, man. I can't wait. Yeah, defend yourself, boy. Defend yourself. Talk about my quarterback like that. The hell wrong with you, boy? I'm ready. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. So come on with it. Tell me. Oh wait, hold on. First, let's start. Let's start off with um. He said that's another thing. He said that he would rather retire than to play for somebody else. Now, what what do you think of that? I I I got my thoughts too, but what do you think of that? Um, you know, it's. It's cute, you know. I I, 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 I think I, I think that's uh, really really cool, you know. Um, growing up a Raiders fan, uh, playing for the Raiders, and then saying, you know, he's gonna he doesn't want to play for anybody else. I, I think that's cute, but um, you know, a, again, this is a business, right? Um, I, I think uh, as as a player, um, you know, I don't know, man. I, I mean. Get 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 for him, I guess. I, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's going to earn him an extension. I don't know if that's going to help him hold on to the football more during the games. I'm not sure. But I think the biggest thing is um, that we, maybe we can both agree on is Derek Carr has never, uh, his weakness has never been saying the right things during the off season. You know what I mean? Um, he's, a, he's a great, eloquent speaker. So uh, good for him. You know, he's either going to be a preacher or a politician when he uh, retires from the NFL. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I'll take that. Now, let me, I'm going to see. It's funny because I've been talking to people, Twitter, whatever, and nobody seems to get why he says this. Nobody. And this, I guess, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but this is what I got. He said, I'd rather basically, you know, I'd probably rather retire than to, than to, than to play for somebody else. Now, what, what have we been hearing all offseason? Um, it, it depends on who you're listening to, I guess. Okay. Right? First, 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 there was first he was they were gonna trade him for Russell Wilson and or two him and two first round picks for Russell Wilson. Then it was gonna be you know, him and two first round picks for Deshaun Watson. And then it was going to be him and two first round picks for Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. And now it all died out. But then, you know, this Aaron Rodgers stuff came kind of came back because they said, I don't know, recently they said that um, he wasn't going to, uh, he wasn't going to be with the Packers no matter what. Yeah. And so, who you know? I mean, I'm not gonna see here as much as as much of a car stand as I am. I'm not gonna see here and tell you that to not trade him for the best quarterback in the game by far. I'm not gonna yeah. say I'm not gonna say nothing like that. I'm I am I'm I'm, I'm I might be a little might be a little stupid, but I ain't dumb like that. And um, so I believe he said that saying like I'd rather quit playing than to play for somebody else is it's, it's basically telling me <laughs> telling Gruden and Mayock, if you try to trade me I will retire I'm not gonna report and you're gonna have to and you're gonna have to undo this trade yeah I can see that and th th that's what I got out of it and I haven't heard anybody say anything like that anything like that yeah it's it's different man um you know and and I think a lot of that question came from them asking him, why doesn't he, uh, I just, you know, and, and again, I think we've talked about this. I, I think Carr is a great man. You know, I think he's a phenomenal human. 
um, you know, great leader, great, you know, father, husband, uh, son, but to some of the shit he says, man, I'm just like, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't fully, I, I can't get with it. It's not something that fires me up. It's not something that, uh, you know, um, you know, talking about retirement, you know, at 31, if he gets traded to another team, um, at, that, there's a lot of privilege with that uh, comment because not a lot of players have that ability to to say that. So, I, you know, as a teammate, as a Raider today, you know, that sounds cool. But also, I mean, how, how many players have come and, come and gone over the last three or four years that don't really have an option, right? I mean, if, if the great Khalil Mack gets traded, right, I, I don't think Derek Carr is above that. And I don't think he's good enough to to demand that as a – as a player either, or, or to have that kind of stance. I, I wish he was more like an Aaron Rodgers where, mm-hmm. Hey, like, and, and I think you've seen this frustration. Cause like I, I was a car fan from 2014 to 2017, you know, and, and you're, you're a Fresno state guy too. So I'm sure you see this, but I'm sure you wish that your quarterback would call out the organization for really what I think is fumbling and messing up and trying to rebuild over and over while Derek Carr's a quarterback, like mm-hmm. you need, and maybe he doesn't do it publicly. Right. But man, you almost want a quarterback that's going to come out and call out the coach, the GM and the owner. And if you're not going to win and try to win in my prime and while I'm ready to go, while I'm sacrificing my body for you, you either do something or trade me. And I think that sparks deadlines for all sorts of franchises and you see that with the Packers right now that's twofold though man okay you could think of it like you could think of it like that yeah or you could think of it as wow we don't deserve this guy this guy has been this guy has been in a dysfunctional organization all this time I mean come on even the 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 the, the, the quarterback that he's most compared to is Matthew Stafford they both they both done some good things, but then they, you know, they, they just didn't win because management always management has failed them on so many levels and on so many different occasions. So you, you know, I can see the, I can see the, oh man, you're going to put something around me right now this year, or whatever, or I'm out of here or I'm going to request to trade, which is what Matthew Stafford did. Or you could say, man, oh, this is this dude has heart. This dude has heart to be a Raider. He's going to stick through it. He's going to be. He's not trying to give up on nobody. He's trying to get it done right here in Las Vegas with the Raiders, not anybody else. And he's going to go down with the ship fighting. I mean, the, you know, that's that's the other side to it. Yeah, the difference between Stafford and Carr, though, is that Stafford is just a better quarterback. He's been a better quarterback. Everybody's a better quarterback to you. No, no, not 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 everybody. But you're Stafford. a better quarterback than Derek Carr, and I'm not saying, and I'm not saying Matthew Matthew Stafford could play. I'm not, yeah. I'm not knocking that. I'm just saying you think everybody's better than Derek Carr. Um, not, you think Gardner Minshew's yeah. better. Not not everyone. Um, just just Derek, Derek Carr. Like, he's not he, he's not Matthew Stafford. You know, um, he's he he's Derek Carr. You know, I, I don't think a lot of players, Derek Carr is a damn good quarterback. I don't know where I don't know where you're getting all this. He can't this and he can't that from, but that dude can play. Um, it, yeah, I, I mean, he's a he's a good quarterback. He's not a damn good quarterback, and and, he, and he's not a great quarterback. And and I think you you, you said it. You know, well, Matthew and, Stafford's not even great. Um, so no, Carr's not great. But, but, but he's because you, you can't you don't get to be great until you win. He's better than Carr. He, he was better than Carr in college, coming out of college. Um, that's why he was a number one pick. And that's why, uh, you know, other teams looked at Derek Carr and were like, hey, this guy's a second rounder. Now he's outperformed where he was. You know what? To be honest, he's he's playing better than the, the first round picks that were drafted before him, you know, but he's just not. Um, and, and, and really the best way I can I can think of Derek Carr again, and, and I know this is going to drive you crazy, but I don't see much of a difference between him and like an Alex Smith type quarterback. Like he, he can play damn good and have Matthew Stafford, Mahomes type numbers, maybe if everything around him is like perfect, right? 
Like it has to be like good. Like when we had a solid O line and uh, you know two first round pick receivers with him and, and Jared Cook at the time, um, that wasn't good enough. You know what I mean? And, Alex and you know, what was that? Alex Smith. Yeah, he's like an Alex Smith. He's just he's he's more of a he, he's more of a dealer, a game manager than a creator. You know? <laughs> really? Yeah. Alex Smith. Yeah, because it's not all car hate, right? I just don't think he's that great. Um, I, I think he's 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 overrated. Um, but he, he did rush for 16 uh, first downs, which was the most that he had since his rookie season when he played like he was fighting for something his rookie year. But but along with those 16 uh, first downs, he also has 11 fumbles. Um, as well when it came to those same thing. Um, you know, Russell Wilson, I think, had the same amount of fumbles. Um, so I think over since 2017, Russell Wilson and Derek Carr, I think, have their four and five in quarterbacks with the most tr- turnovers since Yeah, but yeah, you want to trade, but you want to trade Carr and two first-round picks for Wilson. Absolutely. Who, who turns the ball over just as much. Absolutely, because well, what it was, what has Russell Wilson done? If it wasn't, I mean, if Russell Wilson was that good, the Seahawks would have won two Super Bowls instead of one. Well, I mean, because <laughs> uh, 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 it is his fault that they didn't lose, that they didn't win the second Super Bowl. It is his fault. That's on you don't see you don't see Carr throwing interceptions when when it's when the game's on the line and he's trying to go in for the winning score. He had the best defense. He had the best defense. Yeah, since the 85 Bears, the best defense since the 85 Bears. And he had Marshawn Lynch winning the football. But he's still a good quarterback, man. I didn't say he wasn't good. I'm just saying he's overrated. You but, overrate him. And some cool. others overrated me. He, had, he hasn't done nothing, he hasn't done nothing since, the Legion of, since the Legion of Boom left. What has he done since then? Russell Wilson, like, um, did, did you play football at all? Yes, I did. I played in Fresno State, yeah. Were you on an offense or defense? I was running back. Running back. So, like, and, and and maybe this is the wrong question, but, like, which quarterback do you think is harder to plan, game plan for? Like, which quarterback would you prefer to have as a quarterback for your for your team? You know, like, what which, as a, which quarterback gives you better s- s- chance of success as a, as a running back? You know, like, to me, th- there's a reason why early on you opened up with Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson, and Aaron Rodgers, and how it would take Derek Carr plus two first round picks to get either of them. And the okay, and the, see that's there. There you go. That's what I mean. Okay, I you know I'm not. What you think of Wilson is what you think of Wilson. Man. I'm not even trying to fault you for that. But where I fault you is where you think he's worth Carr and two first round picks. That's way too much. Russell Wilson is not that good. He's not. Yeah. Now, now, give me, give me, give me, give me, can give me Andrew Luck, give me Aaron Rodgers, like maybe three or four years ago, okay? But you know, because he, I mean, Aaron Rodgers ain't gonna play forever, so I, you know, he he's getting up in age, so I wouldn't do first round, two first round picks and car for him right now, just only because of his age. But yeah. it's, but we talk about that's the thing. We talk about Russell Wilson like he's like he's with Aaron Rodgers. And he's not. He's not. There's nobody in that Aaron Rodgers class. Not even Patrick Mahomes. Well, what is Patrick Mahomes? What team? What team has he lifted? He didn't lift nothing. He had every, everything that you said about Carr about being everything being perfect around him and all that crap. Okay. Well, like Mahomes does. Mahomes has everything perfect around him. Tyree Kill, Travis Kelsey, um, you all those track team of receivers, good offensive line, running back. He, he's got everything. And, and they and, and they sat him his first year behind Smith to kind of learn so he can come along slowly. And then you can't you you can't you can't map out a better quarterback you know a start to a, to a quarterback's career. And then, even, even a quarterback that has everything, there's been a lot of quarterbacks in the league that have had everything, and that the, they're not touching fifty touchdowns and five thousand yards. Like Mahomes is special, and, and we can't take away from. Mahomes' skill set based on who's around him, you know, because what 
because we do that with Mahomes, but then with Carr, what we do is just because he can't win or he's not hitting numbers, we start blaming all those around him. Where I believe, like, you bring Russell Wilson to the Raiders in 2021, we're a Super Bowl contender. You got um, no more than the worst Super Bowl contender without him. <laughs> you, 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 bring, you bring Mahomes to Oakland in 2021, we're a Super Bowl contender. We're a contender without him. With, with Derek Carr, we're a wild card birth contender right now. Like we're we're maybe a playoff team, maybe. Uh, I mean, I'm not too sure about your assumption. Your assumption with um, with, with Patrick Mahomes because I he hasn't shown me that he can lift the team like that. Did, did did he make the Chiefs a little better? Sure, but the Chiefs are already in the playoffs. They were already winning playoff games before he got there. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, Mahomes just really took that team. Now, the only quarterback that I have seen take nothing to the playoffs is Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. There's no other quarterback in the league that, that, that's doing that or, mm-hmm. or has even come close to doing that. Patrick he, Mahomes has everything. He is definitely um, special. You know, everyone wants to talk about Deshaun Watson like he's special because he had to, he, cause he threw for a career high in yards and touchdowns. Well, of course, you're going to do that when you're behind in games. And he, and he, I mean, he has not Derek Carr though. Not Derek Carr. Is, I'll tell you this: Derek Carr's line was worse than John, Deshaun Watson's, and his defense was worse. And he won. And he won eight games. How many games did Deshaun Watson win? Deshaun Watson's been a winner his whole life, man. Oh, he didn't win. He didn't win nothing last year. And, and 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 I think you just said something funny that should also apply to Derek Carr is. Deshaun Watson had his highest numbers um, and he was behind and losing a lot of games. Derek Carr has not put up numbers close to that. And he's literally been losing his entire career and his defense is giving up a ton of points. So even in that situation um, with garbage time and all these other factors. When did, when did, Carr, when did, when did Carr have Will Fuller and Brandon Cooks? <laughs> when did he have those guys? When did when did he when did he have uh when did he have DeAndre Hopkins? When, um, you when know, did he I'll, have I'll, all these guys? I'll, I'll give you that, but let's uh, again like comparing the quarterbacks. Like if you ask thirty two GMs, um, which quarterback they'd want to have for the next five years, and 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 obviously it's tricky because of the whole massage therapist thing, right? So, um, but. Which quarterback would you rather have for the next five years, Deshaun Watson or Derek Carr? Um, not very many would pick Derek Carr. So De- Derek Carr is the type of quarterback that you hold on to, to, and hopefully you can get over the hump. But as soon as you find someone that you know can get you over the hump or is dangerous enough, you he's an Alex Smith guy. You Once you have an opportunity to bring in a Mahomes or someone you believe in, um, just like you know it happened to Alex Smith twice, in San Francisco and in Kansas City. Yes, you can. Man, nobody want to hear that Alex Smith garbage, man. Get out of here, man. Get out with the Alex Smith stuff, man. The truth is. You must be out of your goddamn body. They got the best quarterback in the NFL. He's better than Patrick Mahomes, better than Aaron Rodgers, better than what's the, what's the new boy? Kyle Murray looked like a keep level. He's better than all of them. He, I mean, I, I'm, I, joking, I think, I'm joking. I'm <laughs> joking. No, I don't think Carr's that. I don't think Carr's that good. But I think, I think he's. Tyler I, I, I think, I think he's on the same level as Watson. He's on the same level as as. This is the tier. The tier. The tier. Tier one is Aaron Rodgers by himself. Tier two, Patrick Mahomes by himself. Russell Wilson. Deshaun Watson, Derek Carr, um, Matthew Stafford. You might say a couple of them are better than others. That's fine, but they're they're on the same level though. And they're they're not they're none of those guys are, are head and shoulders above. None of those guys are just like would, head and shoulders. I, I would, Patrick Mahomes head and shoulders. Aaron Rodgers head and shoulders. I definitely Sean Watson, not head and shoulders. Um Russell Wilson, not head and shoulders. Um Stafford, not head and shoulders. They're all on the same level. You can say they're better than Carr. I'm not even I ain't gonna get I'm not even gonna get mad at you if you say he's better than Carr, but not head and shoulders to the point where where it's where it's a um 
where, where it's a two first round picks thing. <laughs> I mean, you know, you bring Andrew Luck, okay, head and shoulders. You know, that's the thing. People, that's what people don't realize. But a lot of people don't realize about football is there are two to three guys <laughs> that blow their doors off for of things, and you say, "Wow, I can't believe this guy." And the rest of them, they have their moments, but it's a crapshoot. It's a crap. It's a crapshoot between Carr and Wilson and and Watson and a bunch of Watson's not those guys. Not, and I'm not saying that because Carr is that great. I'm saying that because Watson and Wilson just aren't that special. You, you if, the, because if the, if Russell Wilson was special, he would have won at least three Super Bowls with the team that he had. But you also have to realize that there's a lot of other special quarterbacks in the league, and that there's reasons why Russell Wilson didn't win the Super Bowl. You know, yeah, him, <laughs> him. Not necessarily him. You know what I mean? But, but like, he it, didn't throw the game losing interception against the Patriots. Well, I'll, I'll be honest. Like, and and and, and, and everybody wasn't mad. Do you know how many people ask, ask Richard Sherman how good if he's special? Ask Richard Sherman if he's special. Richard Sherman will tell you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'll, I'll have to um, call him one day. Uh, <laughs> if you hear this, Russell, shoot me your number. No, and, and even talking about that Super Bowl, I know this is going to get some shit, but the, the obvious place should have been to give Marshawn the ball. They would have won the Super Bowl. Um, at, at the same time, though, like they, um, I, I think in the NFL that year, that play was run like 20 something times or a pass inside the one or two, that same slant was run and not once did it lead to a turnover and not once with the Seahawks did it lead to a turnover. So I can see why they were trying to get creative, but sometimes smart coaches, smart coaches they, out, they outsmart themselves and, and, and it is what it is, you know? Um, but no, I, I honestly like um, Derek um, Russell Wilson, uh, you give him, Gruden, Gruden's offense becomes more fun, um, becomes more diverse, becomes just more dangerous. Um, we saw that with the Mariota game. And, and one thing that really drives me nuts about the Mariota game is um, I can see the stands coming out and saying, well, they didn't have a chance to game plan for Mariota. That's why he did so well. Well, right? th so, there's some truth to that. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not on that bandwagon. But there's yeah. nothing to that. At the same time, though, like but at the same time, he didn't practice. He didn't practice with the ones. He didn't so, practice, and it's so a it's hard. E act. It's even. It's yeah. even. Yeah. yeah. So, I give Carr. You already know. I give Mariota credit for that game. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. But, for, but for Derek Carr to be salty about Mariota's success and have him come out and say that exact same thing, well, they didn't prep for Mariota. Like that. That. Is that I, what I, said? Yeah. Yeah. They, they I did. Said that. Yeah, he said that. So he he threw out that comment. So I'll, I'll be honest. The one thing about if he said that I'm, I'm disappointed if he said that. Right, like he's got 2021 and 2022. Then then he has an extension. At the same time, like if he doesn't get an extension, Carr is honestly like he doesn't. He loves football, but God, family football, right? Like That's he would, it should be. He would be totally happy retiring. Well, family football is the order it's supposed to be. That's yeah, what's the order should be in for every player in this league? Yeah, but Our it's not family and football. Because because there are players that don't believe in God. There are players that don't have family. But for 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 Carr, like he's okay to retire after this contract's up. He's you know what I mean. So like I'm. Wow, what man? Okay, well you know him. Do do you know him? Um, this dude has done football all his life, and you yeah. think that? And, and I'm telling you right now, just having played and having boxed. There's no replacement high, <laughs> you know, people. And that's why a lot of football players end up doing boxing and MMA and doing something else. They are looking for a replacement high. There's no replacement high. And I seriously doubt that Carr is close to walking away from the game. But he, just said, doubt that. he just said he'd retire if he was traded. Or if they were. That, I, I just, did I not tell you what that was? You don't, you don't agree with that? I mean, when, when he starts talking about he could golf every day, spend time with his family every day, like he doesn't need football. Yeah, okay, exactly. So, That's enough. <laughs> you're, you're making my case for me. <laughs> you're making my case for me. He yeah, said that. He said that to say, you know what, y'all, y'all want y'all finally get a good team around here, and then you want to get a, and you want to get rid of me as soon as you get a good team around me here. 
No, I'm not having that. I'll retire if you trade me for Aaron Rodgers, if you trade me for Deshaun Watson, if you trade me for whoever it is that you want to tra- try to trade me for. You do that, I, I don't got to play this game. Hey, so he is, he's, so passion- he he's passionate about being a Raider. Yeah. He's passionate about being a Raider. And he said, you know what? If, you, if y'all want to do this to me after I put in all these years with all these sorry players that you had me playing with, then okay, maybe I maybe I don't need it. The the Raiders don't owe him anything. You know, if 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 they've built a good team where they say, damn, now we can win with a real quarterback and they go get a real quarterback. Um <laughs> he, and he's done okay. So he can, he, uh, so so he's he's first in deep ball accuracy, first in red zone accuracy, fifth in yards per attempt, tenth in passer rating, eleventh in QBR, and he's not a real quarterback. And, and you, you're saying you're saying he can't win. The Raiders can't win with that. Come um, on, Alan. come on, Elias. I'm I'm not saying they can't win with that. I'm just saying they haven't won with that. Yeah, um, because they because well, look. Oh my goodness! Come on, man. Look at the look at look at who they put around them. Gee, I mean, come on, man. Look at the look at the draft that they the drafts that they had following that. Jihad Ward, Garyon Conley. Um, what's the freaking defensive lineman's name? Um, number 92. Uh, I can't remember his name. See, that's how bad he is. I can't even remember his name. Anyway, huh? Was it the Hall guy? There you go, Pete. Yeah, Pete. PJ Hall. Um, I mean, it's I, look, look at the string of high picks that they've squandered after after 2014. Okay, okay, after 2015, because Amari I, 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 Cooper was, was a good first round pick, even though I would have taken Leonard Williams instead. Yeah. I would have taken Leonard Williams, but but that was Amari Cooper was still a solid pick. So, uh, I, but look at everybody else. They've invested a lot, lot of war. I mean, and, and look at all, oh my goodness. Are we, look, at, look at the free agents that they got, and they went. They 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 fell on their behind. Um, Jared Vildare is not bad. Rodney Hudson wasn't bad. Gabe Jackson wasn't terrible. Did um, Vildare start... play with Carr? Um, did, play? did I say Vildare? Colton Miller. Sorry, but I, oh, I thought yeah. Vildare might have played with Carr. Maybe his 2014. I, I don't remember. I can go back and look, but he 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 may have. Um, but uh, but we we've invested in Derek Carr. Like it's not like we haven't, you know. But like, I mean. This yeah, is but you, but you, okay. Let me take you back here to the defense again. You want to you, okay? You want to say it's not the defense's fault? It's oh, just it as much car and da, da da da. Okay, well listen. Did you know that six of the ten worst defenses in Raider history play with Carr? I, I six, believe so. and he's played seven years. And going on year eight, and six of the worst defenses, of the worst ten defenses in Raider history, play with Carr. And are we basing? And he's off? not, and he's not Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. And so since he's not Aaron Rodgers, you expect him to win with that. So can can I ask you an honest question? Um, is that ba- what stat is that based off of? And do you believe that the last seven years or the last decade of the NFL, the way it's played? Is it fair to compare with the way the 70s and 80s and 90s and 60s were played? I'm not saying our defense isn't bad. What, what, what I'm saying is our, <laughs> defense, our, our defense our defense is bad. Our defense has been shit since Derek Carr has been our quarterback. But our offense has been shit for five of the seven years that Derek Carr has been our quarterback. This is this year, 2020 and 2016, were the first – were the only two years out of his full seven years that he's been able to score more than 19 points a game. Think about that for a second. So even with a bad defense that allows a lot of points, our quarterback still cannot lead. And I'm not even talking about wins at this point. I'm just talking about, can you give me an average? And I hate averages, I'll be honest, but can you give me an average of more than 20 points per game on more than just two out of your last seven years when you have a top offensive line, when you have What top top offensive line? We've had it. We've had it. Carr's been blessed with a better offensive line. You're you're, you're stuck. You're stuck in the 
time warp, man. The, the Raiders had the best offensive line in 2016. After that, he has not had the best offensive line in the NFL since. It was one of you might have to go double check that, man. It, it, it's far from the worst, though. It's far from the worst. And and, and all I'm saying is again, okay, like, this, uh, they were ranked 24. They were ranked 24. And is that good? Um, 20, 20, do, you, do you call that good? What what year was that? This year. This year? Yeah. 2020. Well, you I mean, call that good? Are we talking about passing? Or are we talking about rushing? I'm talking about overall. But overall, because uh, he, he had good protection this year. I mean, his protection wasn't okay, bad. Okay, you saw you, – okay, like I said, the car is going to make the offensive line look better with sacks-wise because he gets rid of the ball quick for the most part. Mm. I mean, to even to the, to the you know, chagrin of most of you guys. Oh, he doesn't hold the ball long enough. Oh, he doesn't this. Oh, he, does, he needs to wait for the deep. Hey, he's trying to get rid of the ball before he gets killed. And some of those times. I'm not saying he's, not saying he's always perfect. I'll never say that. But um, he, he, him, him doing that, he's not, he's not getting the sex that a lot of the linemen have allowed pressures, or you know, for. So, uh, and I think I think you've talked about this. I'll, I'll take an extra five, seven sacks and an extra five interceptions a year if he's trying to make a play. You know, I, I'll take that all day. Um, I, I don't need him to be under like my favorite stat is everyone trying to compare him and Mahomes 4,000 yards, 20 TDs, 10 interceptions. That stuff cracks me up because like those wow. don't matter. And, and, and even, even like the, the average points per game, like I, I look at that and, and it kind of sometimes grosses me out, even when we're like talking for him or against him, because it doesn't tell the story of week to week. Why so, you know like so scoring you know, twenty seven points a game doesn't tell the story. It doesn't. It means it means he's it means he's a bum. No, it, it makes it sound like we were losing shootouts every week, um, but we weren't. We didn't lose nothing every week because they're eight and eight. So we didn't lose nothing every week. No, okay. there were times, but let's not act like let's not act like Derek Carr wasn't a big part of why the Raiders were even able to win those eight games this year. Because it sure wasn't because of the defense. Oh, you know, you know, I, I, again, wasn't just Derek Carr, and it wasn't just the defense. I, I think when we when we play well as a team, it's because they 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 really balance and help each other out, right? Like, like I, I, look, I look at the, uh, the the Falcons game, I look at the Jets game from the year before. You know, I, I look at those games, and those are examples of like games, and and, and even in Derek Carr's history, he has more blowout losses than close heartbreaking losses The car's efficiency makes him good in the fourth quarter because you know he's likely not going to make a mistake he um, takes him down the field and he yeah. doesn't he doesn't kick field goals just so you, so you look at his game winning drives he doesn't kick field goals those drives those drives end in the end zone yeah but the, the bottom the, line is when he, the bottom line is if you give him a chance to win a game with a touchdown he will go and do it yeah well um, yes, but also the, the the reality with with Derek Carr is the, re, the reason. And, and and look at those wins and his comeback losses. They're they're against bad teams. And the reason Chiefs those bad team. the one the Chiefs in the Super Bowl this year. Well, that I mean, you're, you're talking about one out of you guys talk about there all. Were, there were there were others, but either way, he had eight. Either, he had either eight. way, don't you know? Don't make it sound like he can't do it against a good team. But a lot of times, you gotta understand. A lot of those blowout losses were the good teams. Why? They weren't the good teams. He's outgunned. He's that, outgunned. That's the thing. They weren't the good teams, though, man. The Falcons were not a good team last year. That's true. The Jets were not a good team the year before. Like we were literally in a must-win. Like, and this is where I think, like, just a different QB, just brings the team differently to games like that where like hey and i know it's the nfl yeah differently but it's not necessarily better um we don't know that and and, and we won't exactly know that. that's exactly we don't know that, that that's what that's what i'm saying yeah because <laughs> like the, the reality is like how, how much different are we maybe three to four wins better with car than we were you know without car the previous years i mean if we, we were eight and eight with uh Carson Palmer, um, Jason Campbell. So it's like, 
<laughs> you know, what, what once as a franchise we just don't know how to win, but also okay. Like, are you telling me? Are you telling me if you put Carr on that team with Darren McFadden in 2010 and 2011 that the Raiders don't finish better than eight and eight? Uh, without offensive line, um, I don't know if they do, man. Like I don't, I don't know if they do, because like wow, you, you, yeah. So you, you so, put, so 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 Carr is no better than Jason Campbell. You put Carson uh, Palmer um, in 2018. Mr. Interception himself, Mr. Pick Six. Yeah, in 2018, 2019, 2020, um, the Raiders do better than uh, with Derek Carr. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my. And you know what? If you put – oh, my goodness. If you put – put it like this. If you put Derek Carr on the 2006 Raiders, they doing some damage in the playoffs. They, they had a they had a high they had a top ten ranked defense. They had Randy Moss. They had what? Who? Uh, Lamont Jordan. They had uh, they had some folks, but the quarterback was horrible. What they had Aaron they had Aaron Brooks, and then what they got? Uh, you got to be got Demarcus careful. Russell in two thousand seven. And then you be careful with the type of personalities you bring into the offense with Derek Carr, though, because his personality type doesn't command respect from certain uh, proven players. I mean, you saw that um, with Antonio Brown. Like, you saw that. I mean, like. Antonio Brown. <laughs> Come on, man. Antonio Brown didn't last in New England, dog. But who's it? Who, in New England. If you can't do it in New England, you can't, you can't do it nowhere. That means you're a malcontent. Hey, you're a true malcontent if you can't do it in New England. Who is his quarterback? Now, okay, so you know what? If you want to say if you if you want to say Carr can't handle him, you got to say that Belichick can't handle him too. Who who is who is Brown's quarterback in New England? It was, it was well, it was it was Brady for a minute. Who was who is uh, Brown's quarterback in Tampa Bay? Brady. And and that Super Bowl ring that uh, Brown is wearing right now, um, that quarterback knew he could handle and a guy like Antonio Brown. So he brings in a guy like Brown. He brings in a guy like Gronk that no, no one can handle. No, you know, you know, all I tell you what Brady has. <laughs> Brady has seven Super Bowl rings, or is it six? Whatever he has, all those Super Bowl rings. So if if Brown gets into a heated conversation. With, with Brady, Brady's going to be like, man, I got, how many rings you got? You know, Brady's going to say, I mean, how many rings you got? I got all these. How many rings you got? And get, and, and what, does Brown have, what does Brown have to do? He has to shut the F up. Now, Carr, Carr is not even 500 for his career, so he's going to stomp all over Carr because he's going to say, man, I've been all pro. I've been this. I've been that. I've been to the playoffs. I've been to the Super Bowl. I've this, that, and the other. And what have you done? And, and then Carr has to shut up. That's all that is. Yeah. I'm going to have to end it with that one. We'll, <laughs> man, as, as, as you can see, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, definitely a lot. But th- these are the types of conversations I I love. And, and, and I wish and I wish Twitter was more that way, where we can just sit, conversate, completely disagree, right? Fresno State, Boise State, you know what I mean? Um, super good looking. You know, the, whatever the opposite of that is, right? Um, you know what I mean? What? Just, just playing, just playing. Pencil neck versus pencil neck versus athlete. Oh, is that is that what you said? I think so. I think so. Man. I think so. so uh, yeah, no, but this is what I love, man. Like this, this is how it should be. We're all cheering for the same team. At the end of the day, like I'd love nothing more than Derek Carr to win the MVP next year, because that means our team's doing better. Um, but I, I do sometimes feel like there might be some, you know, people out there who are more fans of the player than they are of the team. And, and for me, like, you know, he wants to be a Raider till he retires. Great. But I've seen so many quarterbacks in and out of this organization and my my love for the team hasn't changed. Um, if he does great, perfect. But I do believe we can upgrade at quarterback right now. No. So I hope he wins. But I, I do believe he's a limited quarterback. Um, I hope he has a great year this year because I'd like to see um, my team win. And for the first time in a long time, I feel like we have a lot of the right pieces um, as a franchise where we can compete. I'm just not sure he's the quarterback that can take us to the Super Bowl 
and win a championship. It takes a different type of mindset and different type of quarterback to get us there. And I'm just not sure he's the guy. I'll end it with this. We will see, because I believe this is a year. This is the year something major happens. This is a year that the major turnaround happens for the Raiders. 